Well, we here at Outdoors Delmarva are fascinated by living history, and we met up with a Wild West reenactor who satisfied our appetite for learning. At the Wild West show and rodeo over the weekend in Cordova, Maryland, we found out the most popular hangout for cowboys was where they kept the vittles. Wow, Damn, Cookie, that looks good. <laughs> hey, Robert, how are you, buddy? That's pretty good. And this is a chuck wagon. This is actually... This is a replica of an 1870s, 1880s chuck wagon, what they would have had on the cattle drive. And the first chuck wagon went down the trail in 1866. Charles Goodnight out of Alpine, Texas. Uh, drove a herd of cows to Colorado with just a freight wagon and it was cumbersome to, to feed the cowboys out of so that next winter back at the ranch he made the first pantry and put it onto the, uh, onto the wagon. When one thinks of chuck wagons they might picture a pot of coffee over an open fire. This is our buckles coffee, a one pound bag. And it was the coffee that won the West because it had a, a, a signature coupon on it, redeemable for uh, razor blades, bandanas, uh, postcards, and it had a, a peppermint candy in it. So the chuck wagon cook could get the honoriest cowboy with a sweet tooth to grind the coffee beans for him. And he didn't need the butt of a pistol to do it. A good old fashioned coffee grinder was what they used. But what do you use if you want to bake something more complicated like an apple pie? Anything you can bake at home, I can bake out here in a Dutch oven. It takes about the same amount of time, about 45 minutes. Other than the apples, what's going into this apple pie here? Sugar and cinnamon and butter. And that's no store-bought crust, I take it. No, that's homemade crust. I made crust yesterday. And it's good crust. You can, when you're not using it, you can freeze it. And it turns out just like you made it. How do you bake it if you don't have traditional? I'll be darned. That just goes right over the fire. Well, no, no, no. But you shovel coals out on those railroad spikes. And then you set an oven down, put coals on the oven, and then put the other oven on top of it, and put coals on top of it. And then every every so many minutes, you gotta uh, spin the oven and spin the lid to balance the heat out. And just like the old days, Mark Cardinal will keep the home fires burning in any kind of weather, like we found out when a sudden storm popped up but it soon cleared and we were back at it. What kind of temperature are we looking at in, in there, about 350? About 350 degrees, yep. Huh. Yeah, and the way you, talk, you tell that is, uh, you hold your hand about here, and if you count to three without moving your hand, you're about 350. How long does it normally to take to finish one? A day like today, about 45 minutes, just like it would be at home. Oh boy, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's got another 15 minutes, huh? Yeah, I'd say. I'd say. Let me get a picture of that real quick. <laughs> it's not too much trouble. And thank heavens they had cell phones back in the Old West so we could get a shot of this picture-perfect apple pie.